it looks like your average city skyline, but in fact, these images are just an elaborate optical illusion. The amazing mirage appeared over Huangshan City in East China at dusk on Thursday. Following a heavy downpour, the spectacular images of mountains, buildings and trees appeared in the thin mist above the Xin'an River. The phenomenon began at about 5pm local time, to the amazement of passers-by. It's really amazing. It looks like a scene in the movie, in a fairyland. Although residents say that similar sights have been seen lately, most agreed that this one had been the most impressive. The video I'm going to do here is going to be a couple of them. I'm going to prove to you that this whole thing, this Saturn thing, is nothing more than a gigantic computer. That's what runs this reality. An unusual item has popped up in the middle of Miami's Biscayne Bay. Wildlife officials say this grand piano was recently discovered on a sandbar, about 200 yards from condos on the shore. It appears the piano was strategically placed at the highest spot on the strip so that it doesn't get washed over during high tide. According to local news outlets, everyone seems to have a theory on who may have put the instrument there. Some folks think it's a publicity stunt carried out by fellows at a Miami-based music school. Others suggest it's a prop left over from a video shoot. As rumors swirl about the piano's origins, one thing is certain. It isn't going anywhere anytime soon. Both Florida authorities and the U.S. Coast Guard say they have no plans to move the piano unless it becomes a danger to wildlife or causes navigational hazards. Diane Kepley, The Associated Press.
the Miami River with the very latest on what's going on with this piano. Hey, Brent. Hey, Pam. Well, how's this for a piano lesson? Some teenagers creating a chorus of concerns. Crews at the storage yard right here hired to haul off the piano from the middle of the sea. And now the question is whether this whole song will end on key. It looks more like art whipped up from a professional's paintbrush. But this grand piano sitting on a sandbar, all too real. There's a ton of pelicans on the piano at the time. No one knew who put it there for weeks until this 16-year-old came forward. My favorite part was in, when it was first coming out. It's like, oh, mysterious piano appeared. He says he and his friends did it to take creative photos to get into an arts college. It's still legal dumping. Yeah. Yeah, it's actually a felony. It's, it's littering. It's the same thing as littering. It wasn't so artsy for wildlife officials who ordered the teens to get it out. I'm thinking who would throw such a beautiful and old antique piano away? But this 10-year-old beat them to the punch. He had his eyes on the prize and asked his father to go get it. I'm thinking, is someone going to pick it up or are they going to just throw it in the water and just leave it there forever? They hired this company to haul it away. So when this family showed up to reclaim their instrument, the song had already ended. I feel really happy for him for doing that to me because that's like a dream come true. All right, so who has the rights to this infamous instrument? Well, Cruz right here saying it's very clear that whenever anything is tossed out into the sea, it then becomes abandoned property. It's very clear that whenever anything is tossed out into the sea, it then becomes abandoned property. This morning we're live. Brent Solomon, NBC Miami. Right on key with that report. Thank you, Brent. <laughs> yep. All right. Okay, look, this is probably the biggest find that I've, I've come across, and I think it's it's more than a coincidence. It can't be a coincidence. It's impossible. The video I did with the guy with the burning piano, yeah? Well, let's go back. Remember the first piano that we saw January 27th of 2011? Remember the one that was in Florida? Okay, that was weird enough, and I told you guys that that was, that was, they was, that was a, sig a signal that was being sent to somebody, but I think it's actually, and I this had run through my head. And I, but I didn't have, I didn't have anything to back it up on. But I think I'm right now. Yeah, let's go to the, the 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 video of the guy with the burning piano. Remember the guy, the, the video one or two back, where the guy's sitting there playing and it's on fire and he gets up and he walks away and the piano just stands there and burns. <clears throat> that was shot in 2000, 2008. Let me see. Yeah, it was shot in 2008. I went and I read up on this guy. This guy is a famous concert pianist, but he had done the same exact stunt 35 years prior to that. So I got to thinking, it, what happened in Japan in uh, 35 years prior? Was there any, any, anything that happened of major uh, importance? And as, as I investigated, the main, one main thing popped up, and it really... It, it, it was a movie, 
That because if you take 35 from 2008, you come out 1973. The name of the movie is The Sinking of Japan, and it's about volcanoes and earthquakes going off. And I, I've got the I've got the movie banner. Incidentally, in my opinion, I think that that piano that was used in 2008 is the same piano that wound up on that sandbar in 2011. Okay, I don't know if they're screwing around with time. I know Saturn is is is, is the, it, it, it regulates time here. Somebody's doing something. What got me on this was last night. Um, if you Google it, or I can put even a picture, that freak thing, whatever it is, that that android, whatever she is, Lady Gaga, which incidentally, Gaga is a name for Pluto, and Pluto originally was one of Saturn's moons. She was in a concert, and she fell off the piano, but the interesting thing is, the piano she's playing is on fire. Okay, there's something, there's something very, very weird going on here. This is not coincidence. You know, all we got to do is just try and figure out what what these these signals are. You know, are they are they messing with time? I mean, how is it possible that this guy did this stunt twice? I do the subtraction, and I find I find the 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 poster for the movie that this the, the disaster and sinking of Japan, and that is exactly what's going on now. It's 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 too bizarre. Anyway, look at what I've got. You make your own decisions. Present day, <laughs> present time. <laughs> okay. Uh